a lot of us urologists are out in the community and not in big academic centers and we have to operate on our own without you know good assistance if you will we don't have a resident to help us with our cases and I'm here in front of the Wolf booth today with Oscar he is going to show us the brand new Cobra Vision uh, ureteroscope, which is, has some really, really interesting features. So I, if you guys are looking for a new scope, consider checking this out. I personally use Olympus and I've used uh, Storz as well, but I have not seen this. This, this thing has some really, really cool features. So I'm, I can't wait to have you share this information with our audience. Awesome. So first thing I want to say is that this is the only dual channel flexible ureteroscope on the market right now. So what, do you, what does that mean? Dual channel. It has two independent channels from tip to tail. Meaning and how does that help? That helps because you can have uninterrupted irrigation. You could also have a laser fiber and a basket simultaneously in use at the same time. So it's fantastic. The tip of the scope is 6.2 French. The shaft of the scope is 9.9 .9 French. So this will go down your 11, 13 access sheath, your 12, 14 access sheath, which is pretty much standard. Now, what's cool about this is... This, this is where the money is, right here. This is our laser shifter here. You can actually preload your fiber in place, get to your stone, advance it, lock your scope in place, and use this lever to advance your laser fiber forward and backwards. Once you've done fragmenting your stone, you will basket out of the second channel right here. So if you ever get fragmenting and you get stuck, instead of having to cut your basket and waste $300, you can just advance your laser again break off the stones and keep going. And this, this feature right here where you have the lever to lock the position of the scope in place is really helpful if you're doing everything by yourself. So with, your, with the surgeon's one hand, I have the ability to lock the scope right where the stone is, maybe Correct. in the lower pole, mid pole, lower pole, mid pole, and then use this little uh, lever right, or the uh, knob right here to Correct. advance the, the uh, laser fiber. Correct. Now, the maximum diameter I mean, you guys recommend probably about a 200 micron fiber we through this, 200, but, but you, you can, can fit, fit through. A 365 through this as well. Okay. And the other thing is, you know, sometimes you're busting up a big stone. You can also plug in an irrigation, a manual irrigation device right here on the back so that you can clear the field Correct. with your assistant irrigating the, the field, make sure you can see, while the, uh, the um, basket is in place Correct. using a separate channel. Correct. Two totally super, independent channels. This is fantastic. Uh, super helpful. Um, and I, I, I know I mentioned to you, I'm a little concerned about the diameter, uh, the outer diameter of the scope. But, you know, once you, you said it's about a 9 French uh, scope, nine, outer nine diameter. French, correct. So, so if I put in an 11, 13 uh, access sheath, which most of us use when we perform uh, flexible ureteroscopies, it's, uh, it's really moved. Correct. This will fit through that and you'll have perfect irrigation coming out and backflow as well. Okay. So... The value proposition, other than the fact that it's a newer scope with more features, how does it compare to your competitors uh, with other value, you know, value add? What, uh, what's your value proposition? What are your value propositions? Well, the good thing is that this scope is actually priced comparable to a standard single channel scope as well. And the good thing is with this scope is only one out and it all goes to just one box. No light source needed at all, just one box. No light source needed. One no plug, one box. Needed. One plug, one box. Way to go. Thank you. And uh, price competitive, you said. Yes, sir. What about durability? A lot of us are, you know, you, you hear, now I'm, I'm seeing a lot of uh, disposable, flexible ureter scopes in, in competing Correct. in the market. What about durability of these scopes when you compare to Olympus and Storch? Durability is actually standard across, but what this will help with, because of the laser channel independently, it will help with laser damage. So if you remove laser damage, which is over half of the damages that we get currently, you'll it actually double your life expectancy of your actual scope. So the, the, the second channel, that separate, you think the separate channel for the laser is gonna make it last longer? Correct. It, did you guys do any sort of protective shielding at the tip? Because I think a lot of laser damage is uh, operator error. Correct, it is. But if you have the scope to lock, when you lock this uh, in place, you're locking the fiber at the tip. So if you actually gently step on your pedal, it's not firing inside the scope, it's actually firing outside of the scope. So you're not blasting the inside of your scope. So it doesn't manually or in inadvertently retract into the sheet. Correct. Interesting. I wonder if there are any studies uh, to demonstrate that it actually saves money. We would love to do a study on that, but <laughs> our competitors don't want to do one of those things. Yeah. I hear you. Well, thank you so much, Oscar, and I'll try to find a link in the, to the uh, Wolf uh, Cobra Vision 
and I'll put it in the video description. And uh, if guys are interested and gals are interested, I'll, if you don't mind, I'll put your contact information. That'll in be just be fine. Because I don't, see, I don't see much uh, wolf out there. No, but I'd love to have more out there. Hope to see you guys soon, too. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.